Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Ultra Hardware 43315 Jimmy Proof Deadbolt or Deadlock. This is a typical, even generic style rim mounted deadlock or deadbolt. Rim mounted synonymous with surface mounting in this case. It's the back side of it. You can see that it, it is in a sprayed bronze slash brass type of color, which is real typical for residential situations. Okay. That's the lock body. It's a single cylinder because the inside has a thumb turn. Let me show you the rest of the components and then we'll go over the steps and the instructions with, of which there's a link below this video. You're going to have a box strike like this. This type of strike inherently is for an in-swinging door. Okay. Residential, most likely your door is going to indeed be in swing. In a matching color. So the installation of this is going to look like that. Okay, assuming that your door would be swinging in towards you. So from my perspective, it's a right hand. That's how that would go. You're also going to get, of course, a rim cylinder for the exterior, and that's how you'll get in from the outside. Typical rim cylinder in a Yale Y1 keyway. Wanted to be sure before I said it. Typical Yale keyway, a Y1. A cylinder ring is going to come with it. Not in, let me back up. Two keys will come with it. Cylinder trim ring, like that. <clears throat> An inside mounting plate for the cylinder. Two screws on the back, and then your cylinder plate. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Then a package of screws for attaching everything that you need to attach. Okay, so let's pull up the instructions at this time and get it open. First of all, there's a template on this end okay? that's going to be included with the lock. You're going to apply that to the door depending on the hand. They give you two, you, don't, you wouldn't really need to because you can just flip it over. Oh, forgive me, you can't do that. No, that's completely incorrect what I just said. You need to, depending on the hand of the door because this hole is not in the center. Okay. So it says, set this line even with door edge. It's really important that you do that. Okay. They have a reference below to, for left hand and um, okay. They've obviously got a misprint for left hand door, for left hand door. That's obviously not correct. It's easy to resolve because as you're looking at the template, the template on the right would be for the right hand door. For you looking at this okay it's also on the right so this one over here would be for the right hand door that hole for the cylinders towards the top so basically cut that off the template and and and, and tape that to your door if you want that would be the easiest way to do it so that's the template step one happens to be apply proper template to inside of door and follow instructions given on template so the bottom line is this. You get your template on the door, and if you're doing a left hand, mark this off with the edge of the door. If I was doing it, not if I was, the, the scores of times that I have, center punch, mark and then center punch the four bolt holes, mark and center punch your cylinder hole, tape it to the door, make sure it's straight, make sure that it's level, take a center punch and mark your four holes right your five holes right through the paper template. Once you got that, you can kind of remove your your um, template from the door. And what I do is I'll take a little marker or a pencil, actually not a marker, or a pencil, and I'll indicate my holes so that I don't lose them and drill the wrong hole. A double check is what I do. At that point, they want you to drill an inch and a quarter hole for the cylinder, and that goes through the door. 
Now, I wouldn't drill that through the door. I would drill it, and then I would come around to the other side, and I'd come back through. That's a little bit um, more work than it seems because your door is likely beveled, so the dimensions off of the edge of the inside would be diff different if you measured off of the edge of the outside if you've got a beveled edge door. So keep that into mind. About 330 seconds is what you would accommodate for that. Your dimension would be that much less. Um, or if you're sure you're going to drill it really straight, you, you, if you're going to use a hole saw, you could have the bit of the arbor poke through the other side. I'm just not a fan of that because the tailpiece has got to be perfectly straight, laser beam straight. And if it's not, the problem is that tailpiece, if it's not, like right now, it's not straight. If it's not installed level in the lock, it will not operate correctly. It will bind because that, watch as I turn the key, you can see how it kind of naturally isn't laser beam straight. It needs to be on its axis and just, you know, turning like that. So I would, I would suggest that you mark your hole, mathematically determine where it has to be and, and meet the hole in the center. That's my suggestion. Then your other four holes, you're going to pre-drill maybe an eighth of an inch. Check that against your bolts. Pre-drill your holes for the mounting screws. At that point, you're going to move to uh, step two. Insert cylinder and ring from the outside of the door and pr place uh, and place back plate on inside of door, connecting back plate with cylinder by two connecting screws. Cut off the screws to proper length relative to the, to the door thickness. Bottom line is this. These two screws, remove them. Stick this through the door on the outside with the ring already involved. Mate that up to the inside plate so it's going to look like this. And obviously those two screws are going to come through these two holes here. There are even two tiny little zinc screws to hold the plate onto the door temporarily while you're lining all of that up. Otherwise, it's really not necessary. Well, I'm not to say it's not necessary or so. It's just I rarely use them without trouble. Um, and at that point, the cylinder will be attached to the door and it'll look just like that. Your screws might be too long. You might have to snap them off. They want the projection of the tailpiece in step three to stick off the face of the door three-eighths of an inch. Make sure that that's the case. You're going to want to carefully cut that with a hacksaw. Don't try to break it off with pliers. You'll damage the hardware. Uh, at that point, you're at step four. Turn the cam to position as illustrated below. There's a small little mark at the top of the cam that they're indicating here. It's hard to see in the camera. Then there's a little arrow right at the very tip of my finger line those up oops and at that point you should be in good shape with the installation it's it's not anyway get it like that and you're, you're going to be in good shape because then the timing of the tailpiece will be correct when you put this onto the uh when you put this onto the back side of the tailpiece from here this is on the door make it go like this okay then test the operation before you attach this to the door Make sure that you can do this. Make sure that your key can throw and retract the latch bolt and that you can remove the key in both instances. And then if that's the case, then it's timed correctly. You can proceed. Step five is fix strike to jam in line with lock. There's no template that they've got for this, but you're going to eyeball that. You're just simply going to make sure that you can get that all lined up. Now you got probably a half of an inch of slop between the height of the hole and the height of the bolt. As you can see that bolt, you know, so you got a little bit of there and you got a little bit laterally, maybe a quarter inch, but you're going to want to make sure that that's lined up correctly. That involves chiseling the jam, chiseling the casing on the inside, but once you've got that all chiseled out and it fits nice and snug, test your operation, then pre-drill your holes and use the flathead screws that are here. Okay, you might want to get longer screws if you if you feel it necessary, but the problem with doing that is you could get longer screws for these two outside ones because you're more likely going to hit a stud. You're going to have three screws here and then two screws here, but that's just going into the three quarter thickness of the jam itself. At that point, you're done. You should be installed correctly. Ultra is a full-line importer of builder's hardware like this. 
not only Jimmy proof locks, but all kinds of stuff, you know, grab bars and push and pull plates and the whole gamut of material. If you have any questions on the Ultra Hardware 4, 4, pardon me, 43315 Jimmy Proof Deadlock or any other Ultra Hardware product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.